Hey, Wise House Oils. Brian McKenna here. I'm here with Adam Nevins. Adam Nevins is a uh, member of Wise House Oils, but he's also the executive director of a nonprofit called Serve Life. We're going to be talking this week, throughout the week, releasing videos about everything, about from talking about traveling internationally with oils to building a children's home in Nepal. And so right now, I want to start with today's video. I want to know more about traveling internationally with oils because you You've made a few trips over to Nepal and India, right? How many times right. have you been to that part of the world? I think 21, 22, something like that. So I've uh, been on many trips. And uh, and so I have started in my, my last, you know, I'm, I'm only a few years into this whole uh, oily thing. And uh, my coworker, Rachel, got me into it. And uh, I've come to really like a, a few in particular that I have found to be really helpful when I go on trips. And so let me just quickly share what, what I take with me when I go. Um, so first of all, hand sanitizer. I love the Thieves hand sanitizer. Uh, doesn't leave my hands dry and smells great. I, I feel a little weird after I put it on because I'm like, it's just it's not so good. Um, and is one of those bottles enough to get you through a, a two-week trip over there, or do you do you have to bring I, like a suitcase full? Of I'm, I'll use a whole bottle when I go, uh, but normally it's enough. And if I run out, I'll just buy a local hand sanitizer to get me through the rest of the time. But yeah, I normally just take one of these, and it'll be enough. Uh, and then I also take, I take a small travel diffuser with me and that's really helpful because as soon as I get to my hotel room or guest room, uh, I'm able to get that out and start diffusing in my room right away. Really helps me feel like, okay, this is home. And it, it like takes, you know, after all the whole travel experience and traveling for, you know, 20 plus hours to, to really rest and feel like, okay, this is, this is my place. And so there's two that I normally do when I uh, diffuse in my room. And so I normally do Thieves. Uh, I, I normally start with Thieves. And then uh, in the evening when I'm going to bed, I'll do uh, Northern Lights, uh, which I just like Northern Lights in general. I think it's a, it's a good manly smell. Um, and, and so like if you're like, well, you know, essential oils, that's mostly for girls. You know, no, no, dude. Uh, Northern Lights is a manly smell. You can, you can uh, get that one. And then Peace and Calming, um, it just chills me out, you know. Um, and you don't have to Admittedly, be like. It's not so manly of a smell, though. It's not as right. manly, but it's. My it's, wife it's doesn't like it as much as I do, which is weird. And I'm like, why? It's awesome. Um, but it's just, you know, I don't put it on when I'm like, I'm nervous because I don't get nervous. But I put it on when I'm just like, I, I want to chill, you know. And so I'm on a I'm on a flight that's going to be, you know, ten hours long or something. And I just put this on, just helps keep me chill and relaxed. Um, if I'm going to be riding in a vehicle on a bumpy road for two hours. It's nice to put on before that. Uh, and so I, I roll this on. And then I also do some public speaking when I'm traveling. And I, I'm not the most comfortable at public speaking. I can do it, um, but it's not like my... Uh, You'd rather have a guitar in your hands. I'd rather, yeah. I want, I want a guitar between me and the peoples. And, uh, and so now that I'm not a worship pastor anymore, everybody thinks I'm a pastor and I can just preach. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But I'll, I'll roll on valor. And uh, I find that that's been helpful for me just to, to help me focus uh, on what I need to articulate when I'm communicating. It's a little sidebar question. Yeah. In my own interest. Do you find it easier to, to preach when you have somebody else translating for you? Does it give you time? Because you're oh, yeah. usually using a translator, right? So you right. say a line. Does that help to have a moment to think while he translates into Nepali or whatever language he's translating to? And then, yeah, it go, or does it break up your flow when you're preaching? No, I like it. And I, you know, when I started preaching, I just kind of did it off the cuff and it was terrible. And then I went to the other extreme and I wrote out every word that I'm going to say and it was very rigid. And so now I, I just, I outline what I want to communicate and then I just share from my heart uh, based on that outline. And that's been a better model for me. Uh, but then having to go through a, in, through a translator is really helpful too. And there's one gentleman in Nepal that normally translates for me, and so he and I have a good rhythm together. So I know when he's finishing the phrase so I can start mine, and then he starts, and so it works out pretty well. But yeah, I like that pause after my sentence so I can think about my next one. So what he said is he likes that pause after a sentence so he can think about the next one. What I'd like to share next is... Uh, I was, that would be translated. I know, I know. Time to yeah, do. appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, and so I was on a trip with Brian uh, last year and my stomach started to feel weird and like I don't get sick on these trips which is by God's grace but man my stomach started to feel weird and I'm like oh no this is going to be bad when I was in India we called it the deli belly yeah yeah it's similar in Nepal but there's no deli yeah so so I talked to Brian about it and he's like hey man I got this inner defense 
and uh, you should just try it. So, um, so I tried the, the inner defense and man, I, it, I felt better the next day and I was fine the rest of the trip. And you so, were convinced that something, something horrible. Yeah, I could, I could tell something was starting that was not going to end well. Um, and so I, I now take a bottle of this with me when I go on a trip. I just take it every day just to, yeah. to help. And, and I think it's helped just my immune system. I, you know, I take vitamin C and other stuff too. But when you're on a trip like this and you're in a remote village and, you know, people eat with their hands and you're like, I don't know how this was prepared. Um, like, and you just, you have to eat what's given you and you don't know exactly how your body's going to handle that. And so I've found that I, you know, taking this, uh, I think has helped my immune system so that I've been able to survive a lot of those different uh, eating experiences and I've, I've been okay with it. Yeah, I think another really important thing, one thing I always travel with is enzymes too. Inner mm -hmm. defense is great because it, it's a great, uh, in terms of knocking out whatever's in there that's not supposed to be there, but enzymes, you yeah. know, when you're eating all those unusual foods that your body isn't used to, which are all delicious, by the way, mm -hmm. Napoleon Indian food is, is yeah. heavenly, but it doesn't always end heavenly. And so enzymes really help do a great job of breaking down that food so your body can actually absorb it and use the nutrients you're getting. Right. So that might be another one to add to the arsenal. So okay, that would be I'll think about that. Enzyme. So I think these are some great uh, oils and things for you to consider when you go on trips. Uh, but I would also say, whatever you're using daily that you're used to and it like feels like home to you, like definitely take those too because it'll help you feel more comfortable in whatever environment you're in. That's important to feel like you're home. Even yeah. when you're in home. Yeah. So stay tuned next time where Adam and I will talk more about Serve Life and all the amazing things they're doing in Nepal.